solar pond. The best way of harnessing the solar energy through the solar pans. So it is basically the pool of water that collects and stores the solar energy. So normally we have a solar, uh, we have a pond. In ordinary pond, the water will be there. So upper part of the water will be heated by the sun rays and lower part of the water is very cold, very cool, very cold in nature. The heated water rises at the top of the pond. The hot water loses it to the temperature to the atmosphere. So during the daytime it is very hot, during the night time it becomes very cool. And the net temperature at the top of the pond remains nearly to the atmospheric temperature. What is the atmospheric temperature? The same temperature will be maintained during daytime and night time. But solar pond is differ from the normal pond. Solar pond is a technology there the upper part upper water surface having less temperature when compared to the bottom temperature that means more salt ingredients are added to the water so we can segregate three layers of the water upper water middle water and bottom water so upper water surface having the less concentration of the salt and middle vapor water wave uh, layer is, is having the middle concentration of the salt and the lower bottom water in the pond is having highest concentration of the salt where the temperature is 70 to 85 degree is maintained because more number of salt content is available in the bottom zone so this is the zone which collects the solar energy from the top and converts the solar energy into heat energy. Why in the sense this heat energy is used to generate the electricity. This heat system is used for generation of the electric system where that water which is in the bottom will be given to the heat exchanger and without disturbing the, the brine solution that is salt concentration. So the water will be given to the heat exchanger in the sense then that what will happen the hot air will be getting that hot air vapor or steam will be passed into the turbo generator in order to rotate the shaft whenever the shaft is rotated in the turbo generator that will be connected to the generator so generator also produce the electricity Again, the same steam will be pumped through the condenser to convert it into cooled water and the cooled water is again given to the hot heat exchanger in order to generate the electricity even daytime and night time. Because heat exchanger is used as a thermal storage. This is the basic principle of the pond that is solar pond. So solar pond, it's a low technology, low cost approach for harvesting the solar energy. To develop the solar pond, the pond has to be filled with the three layers. Top layer is a cold one, that is little bit salt content will be added. This is the top layer. And bottom layer, next intermediate layer, it's insulating layer, which a salt gradient is maintained based upon the density gradient. And bottom layer is a hot layer up to a 70 to 100 degrees Celsius to be maintained in the sense high salt content should be added here. So these different salt contents in the different layers of the water which have the different densities with the different densities in the water the development of the convection current is prevented which would transfer the heat to the surface of the pond then to the air above the heat is trapped in the salty bottom layer 
of the pond which is used for this heat which is used for heating the building or industrial applications with the help of evaporator so in this system large salty lakes is used as a plate collector the right salt concentration in the water the solar energy can be absorbed at the bottom of the lake so highly insulated heat is transferred into the densities of the water and the bottom it reach the 90 degree celsius which is very high enough to run the vapor cycle engine called this turbo generator so when the shaft inside the turbo generator is rotated when the temperature reach to 30 degree celsius so when it rotates then the generator also rotates and gen electricity will be produced and the same water vapor is again given to the condenser in order to convert the hot into cool then it is the cold water is again given to the top of the layer top of the layer so advantages of the solar ponds in the sense many advantages are there in order to meet out the energy requirements in the place it has low cost per unit area of collection because we are not using any kind of solar devices instead of solar salt concentration for absorption of the solar we are using we are adding the salt concentration to the water it is uh, the solar ponds are over large areas which is used for the generation of electricity it produces many environmental advantages no need to use of fossil fuels for generation of electricity another advantage is, is there is no use of conventional system for creating the electricity in solar ponds and solar ponds are coupled with desalting units that means purify the water level desalination salt water is converted into pure water for that purpose this is used thank you hope this class is you understood